breakfast. I want some eggs for breakfast. Eggs. Uh, I want some eggs for breakfast. Give it. Here we go. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Jason Rex, aka Nonfiction, back at you one more time. But this time we are doing a food review. You heard it right, a food review. It's for the product. It's called Night Food Nighttime Ice Cream. Yes, you heard it right, Night Food Nighttime Ice Cream. And just to show you, this is one of our ice creams. It's called Cold, Cold Brew Decaf. Cool, cute little packaging. This is, like I said, the Cold Brew Decaf, 320 calories. We also have the Midnight Chocolate, which is 280 calories. And then one I hope is going to be my favorite is called the After Dinner Mint Chip. So just to, say, just to read what it says on the, on the container, so that's right, nighttime ice cream. At the end of the day, sometimes you, you crave monster. Just wants a little ice cream. Well, go ahead and do your thing because night night food delivers seriously delicious ice cream that's both sleep expert and crave monster approved. Sweet dreams. Learn more at nightfood.com. Also, I want to tell you guys if you would like to try your own ice cream at nightfood.com, you can go to nightfood.com and there is a tab that says try a pint on us, and they will do the same thing for you. And you can do your own review if you really want to. But we're going to stick right to this part, to what I'm doing right now, and pull the pop top. And first thing it says on there, it says, win a free pint. Post a pic of your pint uh, at, on Facebook or Instagram. Hashtag my night food. It says winners chosen daily. Details at nightfood.com forward slash win. So that's actually pretty cool. Might be able to see if I can win some more. <laughs> uh, for for me, I had to go to a store that wasn't necessarily in my neighborhood. I live on the outskirts of Austin, Texas, and it's actually in Austin, so I had to drive off. I had to drive about 15 miles to get it, which is no problem. Uh, it wasn't really, really, really that far away. There was no traffic, so it was actually perfectly cool. You know, during these times, that's what, that's what people are on the road right now, uh, which is actually not a bad thing. Um, also, uh, just so you guys can see, it says voted product. Uh, product of the Year 2019 Consumer Survey of Product Innovation. Winner, Ice Cream Category Survey of 40,000 Consumers by uh, Kantar TNS. So that's actually pretty That's pretty big for a new ice cream to come out, come out of the works, what works, and take over like that. Um, also, there are four servings per container. There's 80 calories per serving. Um, 1.5 grams of total fat, 0.5 grams of saturated fat, 0 trans fat, 10 milligrams of cholesterol, 60 milligrams of, of sodium, 15 uh, total carbohydrates, dietary fiber, 4 grams, sugar, 7 grams, which is actually surprising. It's low in sugar, it's low in fats, it's low in carbohydrates. So the reason why I say it's nighttime is because, because it's so low in those different categories that it it won't keep you up. You won't be running off the walls because you have all the sugar in your system. So from their claims from off the website saying that it actually will help you sleep. So, and I'm I'm basing off of the fact that because it's low in sugar and with there being low in sugar, you can eat a pint and still get to sleep without having the jitters or like the, you know, feeling like you got to run for a mile to get it off your system. Um, let's go ahead and open the first one. The first one, I actually want to start with chocolate. Has a paper top, of course, hollow. So, just the key for how I do my ice cream all my ice cream is on, I put it on the door of the refrigerator or freezer so it can be soft. I like my ice cream a little bit softer. I don't like it hard, and especially when you get ice cream that are supposed to be low calories, low fat, they t generally are, you know, more icier ice creams. And so far, I can tell right off the bat, this is not that. Definitely not that. Um, just so you can see, that first initial scoop, like I said, I like my little soft. Mm. 
So, when I was a kid, and I would run down and stop the ice cream truck, I would always get, I want to say it was, I got the brand Malto, Malto, Malto brand or Carnation, like I forget the brand, but they had the single malt chocolate chip, malt chocolate uh, cup for a dolly. Well, back in the day, it was much cheaper than that, but now it's probably like a dollar twenty-five. But this reminds me of that taste so much. It's actually really good. <laughs> a nice, nice flavor of chocolate. It's smooth and it's creamy. And the fact is that it's not high in fat. That's surprising. Great, great taste. And for it not to be high in sugar, that's surprising. This is pretty bomb. This is, like it says, this is definitely Crave Monster approved. Because I, I have a Crave Monster inside me. Trust and believe. This is so good. I really <laughs> We're going to put that one down. Because I beat it for the stack on camera. Next we're going to the coffee. The coffee feels like it's melting a little more. Even though they've only been sitting out for maybe... Six seven minutes, but like I said, mine's are already kind of soft because I had a little door for the freezer. Oh yeah, this one's much softer. I'll show you guys after I get all the paper off. So this one, I don't want to spill out, but just so you can see. Same thing with the container. Nice little Crave Monster on the front with the coffee brew decaf. Uh, says the same thing on the side. Um, as far as the facts, nutritional facts, it's actually about the same. They aren't, no, they're, they're identical. The only difference is uh, gram of topic. Okay, so this one has more, uh, one, gram, one gram more carbohydrate, which is 15 instead of 14. It has less fiber and one more gram of sugar. And this is, uh, once again, the coffee. I love coffee ice creams. I love coffee. Um, this one's nice and soft. And it's, what's crazy is for us to be a low-calorie ice cream, yeah, I usually am a mint chip person. And usually, coffee ice cream, coffee ice cream, I'm not always a big super fan of, but I, but I love coffee. This honestly tastes like somebody made some bomb coffee and just froze it. A nice, a nice feel of coffee. A light, you know, it's not really chocolate, but a light chocolate feel to it. But that coffee is there, hundred percent. That's 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 bomb. That's bomb right there. And once again, that is 320 calories per pint. For the coffee, uh, the chocolate again is 280 calories. Now we're going to the after dinner mint chip, which has become one of my favorite ice cream that I've gotten older. And this is 320 calories. And for the most part, it's exactly the same on the nutritional facts. And this one's still a little more frozen, which it was on the further part of the door, close to the inside. Once again, go to nightfood.com. Get your free sample. Please check it out. I would say try it. They have, I want to say, nine flavors. Uh... Or seven. Oh wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. So they have cookies and cookies and cream, uh, cherry flavor, look like a bed and breakfast, milk and cookie dough, after dinner mint, midnight chocolate, which we have, and the cold brew. And they have full moon vanilla. So when I went to the store, obviously this is a good brand because a lot of it was out. Um, but here, just so you can see. Let me pull my camera back up so I can see what you guys are seeing. Just so you can see, it is a nice amount, amount of chocolate chips in here. So this is this is my test if this is going to be my brand. 
Nice. I don't know if you hear that by the mic. The sound. That's 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 ice cream. This is it. This is my favorite. The coffee is what is third is second. Chocolate is third. Mmm. This is so good. I just shot this video. And let me tell y'all. I just finished shooting. This is bomb. I'm telling y'all. Back to the video. I know a lot of people aren't fans of like the mint chocolate chip ice cream. It's like an old school ice cream. I'm an old school head. And this is so good. <laughs> okay. I wanted to sit here and eat this. And enjoy it. Mm. This is bomb, y'all. This one right here. This is bomb. Okay. So, once again, go to nightfood.com. <clears throat> and there's a tab at the very far right. And it says, try it free. Try it free. You can try a free pint on them. It's their treat. Um, I would like to thank Night Food for sponsoring this video. Thank you for reaching out and asking me to do this. This was actually pretty cool. I've been wanting to do food reviews and things like that. And this is a perfect way to get to launch myself to this new category that I want to do. I appreciate it. This is pretty awesome. Um, I would say compared to other low fat ice creams that I've had in the past, this is probably the best. You know, because a lot of them have, they take away so much milk fat or take away so much milk. So it's, it's like almost like water. And so it's, it's hard. It's crunchy. It's not really ice cream. It's more like you, you just eating a slushy with different types of flavorings. And I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. This one, they have captured the flavor, the taste, the sweetness without having all the sugar. And that's surprising. That's very, very surprising. <laughs> so I'd say night food. These are my babies right here. <laughs> it's it's almost it's almost worth it to take that drive. It's almost worth it to take that drive for me. Oh, in my area, they the store I went to, they're five ninety nine. Most stores in the country, from where I talk to the rep, they're $4.99. Mine's is at a, a higher scale store in Austin, but it's Austin. So if you're from here, <laughs> expect no less. Anyways, also you can go on the website. You can put in your zip code. It'll tell you if there's a store near you that sells it. There are several different stores that sell this ice cream all throughout the country. So please, I would say, if you want to try something different, aren't a great alternative for a nighttime snack that's not high in sugar, that's not high in fat, that's not high in carbohydrates, that's not going to keep you up all night, that's not going to have your stomach feeling crazy, that's not going to have you wishing you didn't eat it the, the next day, the next morning, please, try. Night food. I can sign it back. Try, for, try free at nightfood.com. Y'all need to try this. Seriously. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Hope you enjoyed this me talking about the ice cream. If you have any questions, please put those down below. I'll have a link in the description for the website itself. Um, I'll even put a few other. I, I know there's other reviews out there. I'll put a few other reviews out there in the in the description below so you guys can get other good other opinions on the ice cream. But I would say do a do a favor. Do yourself a favor. Go to nightfood.com. Try it for yourself. Get the free pint. Take the picture. Get another free pint. <laughs> With that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, night, evening, morning, noon, wherever you are in the world today. My name is Jason Reacts, aka Nonfiction. I hope I'll catch you on the next one. Peace, love, and I'm out. Try night food. I want some eggs for breakfast. Eggs. Uh, I want some eggs. Yeah. Uh, I want some eggs for breakfast. 
I want some eggs for breakfast. Eggs. Uh, I want some eggs for breakfast. Give it. Here we go. Who am I? Please stop that. Mm, mm, mm. Peace.